Hey booze! In this video, I give commentary based on my opinion. Nothing is to be taken as factual. We are just here to have conversation. We don't expose and we don't sip tea on this channel. I'm giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. Cause I'm a boss. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a YouTuber that recently uploaded a video titled Why I Regret Getting My BBL. And it was in my recommendations and I clicked on it because I never see videos titled like this. You know, normally when I see a video titled anything to do with a BBL, it's like, oh my God, I got my BBL done. It was the best thing ever. I love my BBL. Let me show you the results of my BBL. It's never like nothing negative or real. I don't really consider this video to be negative. I just feel like it's a real insight on what getting a BBL, like what it really means or the real side effects of getting a BBL done. So I wanted to bring this young lady's story onto my platform because a lot of the things that she said in her video, I have previously talked about in other videos and I'll make sure to leave those videos down below in the description box if you're interested. But let's go ahead and take a look at what this girl had to say regarding her story when it comes to getting a BBL. It's super relatable, so let's go ahead and take a listen. So I got my body done about six years ago, um, and this is 2019. So that was like 2014, 2015, one of them. Um, so when I first got my body done, I got um, a tummy tuck first because I was overweight. I had I had just had a daughter, and um, when well, I just had a daughter, but I had a daughter and I lost the weight, and then I had kind of got depressed and I had started eating again, so my stomach had got really big. Um, so my sister paid for me to get a tummy tuck, and the tummy tuck it was it 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 helped me, but with me being so overweight, it left me like with these little dog tags. If anybody ever had um. A surgery before then you all know what I'm talking about um, so it left me with these dog tags or whatever and um, I had to get them cut off so I had to go back and get another surgery because I had a lot of weight on me when I got the tummy tuck so it was like a lot it just it just didn't look right like it just didn't look right um, I still had like a lot of rolls and stuff and like, you know, it just looked bad to me. So I went and I paid to get um, a BBL because I wanted my butt to be big as well. And my butt was huge. Like right after I got my work done, like right after the surgery, like some people be like, oh, I can't really see the results or whatever. No, sis, my ass was huge, like literally. So I, I asked the doctor and I was in so much pain, but I was in so much pain because my body still wasn't done healing from the last surgery. Like, and I didn't really tell nobody this, like a couple people know, but um, yeah, my body wasn't done healing from the, uh, from the surgery or whatever that I had before that. So I was in so much pain. I was in so much pain, like, so much pain it was ridiculous so um what else so i asked the doctor i'm like is my butt gonna you know go down or whatever and he was like yeah because it looked kind of shelfy it was like my butt was kind of like on my back at first he was like yeah you know your butt is gonna drop and it's gonna form you know into the you know into a teardrop or whatever so i'm like okay cool so I get back to Chicago or whatever because my you was in Miami and we had to get on the plane or whatever and come back to Chicago. I had drainage tubes in me and everything. So, um, I just, you know, let the time go by or whatever. And, you know, I really wasn't thinking too much about it until, like, it started healing or whatever. So, I'm like, my butt is not going down. Like, my sister butt went down. One of my friends who got her body done, her butt went down. So, I'm like, my booty is not so I was like, I and and you know, let's fast forward a little bit. 
So once I got the drainage tubes out and everything, blah 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 blah. Um I end up um Y'all I'm so sorry, I'm so tired. I end up um gaining weight. Like, cause my weight always fluctuated, but I gained weight or whatever. So it's like what I had noticed was when I gain weight, like I don't gain weight like a regular person. Like I gain weight in my asses. Like my ass gained weight before everything else. My ass and my face, honey. So as time kept on going, my butt got bigger and 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 bigger. bigger, bigger. So it just seemed like it formed into this booty. I'm gonna also insert pictures of my before and after pictures. Like before my before I got my butt done, my first booty and my second booty. Like I'ma show y'all at the end of the video. So um what made me regret it was how big it was and how I felt like people didn't take me serious. Like now wait a minute, she said people don't take her seriously. So Yanni was was being honest when she said that. Interesting. Okay. Now, in no way am I making this video to um, laugh at this girl because this is not funny, you guys. Like, no way am I making this video to look down on this girl. I appreciate her honesty, you guys, because I feel like so many women are being misled these days. And her honesty is just needed. It is needed, you guys. And I really do appreciate it for being honest. This is something I have dealt with my entire life. Like, yes, I'm natural, but I still relate to her story. And it's because of how she's being treated. And it is a real thing. I want you guys to understand that. That when you go and you get any form of plastic surgery done to enheighten your assets, you know, your ass, your boobs understand you are subjecting yourself to this type of treatment and it's not something that you want to be a part of if you can avoid it i think women would avoid it the type of attention that you want it's not respect you know like it it doesn't include being respected it includes being disrespected so I am bringing awareness to this, you guys. You don't have to like. And at the end of the day, you still have a choice to do as you please because that is your choice. However, I'm going to use my platform to bring awareness to this because a lot of people are getting it done and they're not understanding what they're subjecting themselves to. Let's go ahead and finish and see what else she had to say. People did not take me serious to me. Like all they thought I was was a booty. Like, and I'm like, you know, I always got attention. I always had um, compliments on having a pretty face or whatever. But it was like, once I got my butt done, people just mainly just focused on that or whatever. And I feel like it took away from me as a person. Um, because, like, that's all you saw it was, like, a big-ass booty. So, um, honestly, it gave me insecurities, like. I have so many insecurities when it comes to my butt. And I'm sharing this with y'all because um, next month, I'm gonna bring you out along with me and I'm getting my butt taken down. I'm getting the fat taken out my butt because all of this is fat. Some people's like, oh, you got implants, oh, this and that. But like, that was not the case. Like my butt just really was that big because I put fat on top of fat. Um, so everybody's like, oh, you got implants because it was like, it's literally like that big. I think my butt measure like a 48 50 and that's me at, a, at my average weight um but it gives me like so many insecurities like i know how to hold my own when i'm out in public you know and i hear people talking or whatever it used to bother me a lot and i used to always want to clap back at people when they said stuff like oh your butt big your legs little um you look like an ant yada 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 i even had friends who was supposed to be my friends that wasn't my friends that even when they got mad at me they talked about me you know what i'm saying like they they knew that it was a problem for me and with them knowing it was a problem for me they brought up the problem areas um that i had or whatever so um it just gave me like a lot of insecurities like i honestly hate my butt like i hate it and i be just looking at girls who want these huge ginormous booties and i'm just like it's so many problems like if for one is heavy 
um it gives me back problems i can't even really lay on my back like that um because it get, it makes my back arch and it hurts and i like to lay on my back when i sleep i don't know why i always have but i can't lay on my back like that because it hurt it give my it, it gives me back pains um but like just hearing people talk so negative about it like for so long because i probably be had it now for like four years yeah hearing people talk so negative about it it just made me really sad because you know i don't want nobody to just look at me and just like talk about my butt like so far so i bought like everything was long like i bought like long tunics, long jackets, like everything. Was, I'm sorry, some of my. Eye. I bought everything long to cover my butt up because I didn't want nobody looking at my butt. Um, because I wanted to go to the grocery store. I couldn't go to the grocery store. I couldn't go nowhere with my daughter. Like I can't just take my daughter outside and be peaceful because it's so many people that make negative comments about my butt. I also wanted to point out that a lot of what she had to say in that clip, I have went through and I mainly like my body image growing up as a child was because of my butt, because it was so big for my age. Now I'm going to go ahead and give you my measurements at my smallest. My butt is like a 47 now. So that is at my smallest. I'm 207 pounds and that is my smallest so let's just throw that out there okay imagine that and nowadays i get shit for posting pictures of me embracing my body because i cannot change that and i gotta i get a lot of shit for it like i get slut shamed i get all type of stuff but at the end of the day it's me embracing my body because i have had to deal with this my entire life men not respecting me hearing jokes or uh, being catcalled and hearing some very, very, very derogatory comments. And a lot of people wouldn't call it derogatory, but in my mind, it's derogatory because it's disrespectful. And just dealing with so much growing up with a big butt and everything that she said in the previous clip, I have experienced. And it's just annoying when I get on social media and I'm trying, I'm a natural and I'm trying to embrace my body for what it is and not wear you know, big tees and not wear basketball shorts and be a woman and be girly and be feminine. But it's hard when I try to do that because my butt is big, because I am shapely, I get slut shamed and it's like bullshit. So that's another thing, you guys, like when you're subjecting yourself to getting a BBL, you will be slut shamed for the most dumbest things. Like I had on a bikini and I had on pants with that bikini. And it's like, I shouldn't even have pants on with this bikini. I should be able to embrace my body for what it is and not have to cover up. I've had to cover up my entire life just because my butt's this big or just because I'm shapely, my thighs are thick. You know how annoying that is? Like, I can never just be free out here. I always have to worry about looking or doing too much. It's just really annoying. So when you get your BBL done or if you're considering it, you're subjecting yourself to this life. And it makes me so insecure because some of the comments be like, oh, my God, your butt is so big. Can I take a picture with you? Like people offer to give me money to take pictures with me because my butt was big. And of course, they don't want me to stand up in front and pose and take pictures they wanted me to turn around show my butt you know and show that it was big or whatever and i never liked that like i'm not everybody always feel like uh attention 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 i, I didn't get my butt done to get attention honestly i got my butt done because i wanted a big butt and i truly honestly regret it so I give like all the girls out there who want to get BBLs and want they butt really, really big. Like, just think about it. Everybody don't feel like me. You know, everybody don't care what people say or whatever. And I don't care what nobody say. Nobody dictates how I feel about myself. It's just a little insecure. And I'm not an insecure person. And I'm sharing this with you because I'm sure there's probably somebody out there that's prob that probably is like me and feel the same way that I feel. But um yeah, like 
it's hard for me. It's hard for me to buy clothes. Like, it's hard for me to shop for different things. Like, I sometimes don't like putting on dresses because the way that it is, you put on Spanx and the Spanx hot in the summertime. In Chicago, it is hot, honey. So, it's like, it's so difficult. And a lot of people be like, no, you know, what you're going to look like when your butt is gone, and this, and this, and that. It's like, I'm honestly to the point where it's like, I really don't care about a butt at all. I will literally go back to my first booty before I even had a butt. I always had hips, but my butt wasn't, it wasn't flat, but it wasn't big. Um, so, I don't know. It's just a really big insecurity of mine. And a lot of people don't know that. Like, and a lot of times, you know, those side jokes, they do get to me. You know, they do make me feel a certain type of way. And I never say nothing, you know, I just grin and bear it or whatever, but I'm really blessed. Again, my sister is paying for my surgery and I love her so much because she know how it makes me feel, even though she don't want me to go have another surgery, but she know that I can't live with this butt and I get emotional about it. because I'm judged off my butt like and me as a person like and I'm not that person like I'm not I'm not the person that like look for attention and people make comments like oh well you wanted it and I'm like yeah I wanted it but I didn't want it this big so it's like people don't know really how I feel like People don't know what I go through on a daily. Like, I'm like, well, maybe if I lose weight, I like my butt more. Or maybe if, you know, I think like, oh, well, maybe like if I lose weight or whatever, it'll make my butt go down. And I'm like, and it's like that because like, I hate it. Like, I hate it. I hate it. Before I end this video, I just wanted to say that I could relate to how she's saying, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. That was me as a teenager. And, you know, all of my friends thought that the attention I got was just so cool and it was just so dope. And it was just this amazing thing to get this attention from all these guys. But in reality, I freaking hate it. I still hate it to this day. I don't like that type of attention whatsoever. To the women who are natural and you were just born with large assets, the best thing that I can tell you is to embrace your body for what it is and for what it's not. And also to just embrace like everything about you, even the negative things about you, like when it comes to receiving this type of attention and just to love on yourself. And when it comes to the women that are wanting to get these larger assets, understand that you are subjecting yourself to this type of treatment. Is it fair? No. Do we live in a rape culture? Yes. And how can you live in a rape culture and not take precaution like by you not getting that bbl so big or by you not getting your boobs so big you're just taking precaution you do not want that type of attention do i feel like men should respect us yes but we live in a society where men feel like they don't an example would be chris brown he simply does not respect women will never respect women because he feels that he doesn't have to because of his status and how much money he has so he doesn't feel like he has to respect women period. So you are going to be subjected to men like that. And you have to take precaution and getting the biggest butt, getting the biggest boobs just draws more attention to you. Is it going to protect you a hundred percent? No, but it's just like wearing a seatbelt in your car. You wear it to take precaution. Is it going to protect you a hundred percent from any type of accident? No, but it's just to take the precaution. So that's all that I want regarding this video, you guys, just to bring awareness and please subscribe to this girl's channel. Show her some love, you guys. I'll make sure to leave her original video down below in the description box. And please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload. And I'll catch you in my next one.